your pole almost went in the water, bro. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving you guys a report on striper fishing. Yep, folks, another one of my fishing reports. So today I am here at Discovery Park. I'm getting picked up by my nephew. Um, there he is and he's picking me up so we can do some uh, shad fishing and striper fishing. So stay tuned and let me get on the boat. So once I get on the boat, I will give you guys the rest of the 411 let's go guys let's go check them out all right guys now just got on the water i dropped my rods out and uh check it out. just caught this striper here guys so uh let me start with the striper report for you guys striper is still good fishing out here despite the cold weather the stripers are very active and you could catch them same places, you know, from Clarksburg all the way up to Knight's Landing. And yeah, talk too. about Knight's Landing. Let me show you this fish from Knight's Landing. It is a pretty good striper. It's caught by my buddy David. So yeah, guys, stripers are um, moving right on back out into the Delta, out to the Carquinez Straits and back into the bay. And now, um, you know, for the next few weeks is the time to really get into these stripers otherwise you're gonna be catching nothing but little shakers here and there i've caught that one on uh, cut bait sardines just like that just like that on a regular uh fish finder rig here sinker slider and, and like i said uh now's the time to do so if you want to come out and get your striper <laughs> oh your pole almost went in the water bro uh -huh, uh -huh. Bye -bye. Wait, 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 we got a big one. We got a big one online. Whoa. That's a big one. Did it come off? If it did, you suck. No, 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 he's still on. Trust me, you take your time. He's swimming with Oh, he's on there. He's big. Let me get the net. Where's the net? Where's the net? Oh, we don't need a net. Look at this. Can I go hold it? Yeah. Woo, wee. Boy. Yeah, he the boat. Sardines, no joke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I scared of my line. He was swimming towards me. I thought I didn't even hook so him. So you saw the pole almost went in the water? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi, wife. <laughs> when I picked it up, the back was like this. <laughs> Man. Recast, recast. Hurry up. It's eating time. Nice, nice. If you die, it's not, you know. Keep them alive. The meat tastes better. Mm -hmm. Hope. Find something. Do it right. Yeah. Hold the tail down. I thought it was way bigger than that, the way it pulled the pole down. Funny, Emma. Nice, nice, nice. 20. 20. 20. Hey, no friend. The hunter fighting. So there you see it guys striper fishing is still on fire so now's your time to try to catch yourself a really big striper wow that, look at that your friend guys <laughs> so yeah there goes our fishing um sammy the sea lion showed up with his friends and family and it's their turn to eat so yeah you can't blame them they gotta eat also but somebody gotta really return him back to the ocean man so there you have it may 9th out here with Sammy the sea lion and uh, striper fishing has been really good despite the fact that Sammy and all his friends and families out here I didn't get it on video but I lost a shad earlier to um, Sammy's buddy hopefully next time I'll get that on footage losing the shad to the seal but um yeah whatever so now on back to the uh, striper report so from the same areas from Freeport all the way up to Knights Landing a bunch of shakers everywhere so try to avoid them so if you want to avoid catching these shakers you want to use um, hard bait big bait top water lure and if you're um, soaking bait 
if you want to save some money on soaking bait i recommend you using sardines just like me or night crawler you know so yep folks striper fishing is really good from the freeport area all the way up towards the night's landing area striper fishing is still good yep folks so on to the shad report as you guys already know shad fishing has been really slow last week and this whole weekend it has a lot to do with like the water flows and the temperature and the sun not coming out because as you guys know it is may it's almost the second week of may it's actually the second week of may and i'm in a sweater versus last year we were in shorts we were like half naked out here so um the weather plays a lot of part in catching these shad um i mean a, a lot of them so uh, it needs the weather really needs to warm up and you know with this cloudy weather the shad they can't really see the bait you want it to be really sunny and the water to be really clear and so that way the shad will see the bait and they'll take it but as for them, right now with this overcast weather um, the shads are not doing too good they're not seeing our bait too good so they're probably hanging out out there somewhere in the salt waiting to come in so give it another week guys shad fishing should pick up in another week from now so yeah guys shad fishing is really slow from miller park up to the verona area as you can see we've caught uh, the same amount of striper and shad we caught two shad and two striper today so if you guys are planning out to come out here and fish for shad give it another week but if you guys want to catch some stripers now's the time to do so before they head back into the delta and back into the salt water guys once again uh, i want to thank you guys for tuning in to my channel if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button peace out guys until next time